So, how you doing, you lovely people? Welcome to the channel. This is gonna be a little bit of a strange video because it's a talking head video. So I hope you stick around to spend a little bit of time. I was planning to do a live, but I don't know if it's gonna go through. So today is the 1st of June, right? And it's one year since Johnny Depp won his defamation case against his ex-wife. The unnameable, the infamous. So and of course it's also my birthday so last year was absolutely a fantastic day we live streamed and was one of the best day of the year honestly together with you guys that we were doing an amazing live which had the beautiful conclusion of johnny's victory so after one year many videos much growth and a new community for the channel which i'm extremely grateful for what have we learned what it's happening right and i have to say there are so many things i want to discuss and i'll try to go over them one at a time when you take the example of johnny depp as a man right if we want to talk about male victims of abuse it's very interesting and also kind of weird the way the media society handles all of this so you have a man that was mistreated for a number of years that at a certain point he just got fed up because his narcissistic wife with many other conditions basically was manipulating him into the grave and to the point where probably we don't even know how many concessions we don't even know how many times probably that guy that man his entourage and the people around him had to cope with uh, with the demands with the craziness the madness the mood swings all that it comes with a person that is affected by mental health problems including personality disorders cluster b personality narcissistic tendency or pathological narcissist whatever so there is a lot there to carry and so we can only imagine or speculate what them men really went through and while dealing with his own demons what i saw taking place throughout the year which actually opens the door to a broader picture of our society in general and mostly in the west you know the western society where in the recent years we have taken a shift towards a victimhood almost in so many facets of our society you know there is a lot of uh, victimhood stance in so many places in so many ethnicities a group of people and so on and so forth which i think which i think uh, it kind of lend itself to um, to fertile terrains for all these weirdos out there right which they seem really to enjoy being part of organizations that they are for charities or organization for advocacies and you got a lot of those nut cases narcissists and all kinds of people with sociopathic tendencies being spokespeople which i find it absolutely ironic but then again it seems that there is a correlation in between probably somebody with great expertise could you know help us out here but anyway Another thing that we notice is the, unf the unfair advantage a victim, um, actually a perpetrator, sorry, has when it's a woman. A woman has a clear advantage where you see, despite the fact that was found guilty to defame the husband with malice, but not only that, we as an audience, through the audio, we have learned much more than the final verdict of the trial we have learned the intimacy of that dynamic we have learned in details words exchange and things which not always are present when it comes down to evidence in other cases or other people not even with your own friends so we had unprecedented access to the dynamic of a couple which i've seen before it's a little bit voyeuristic what we did in listening to hours of audio but it really gave us an insight a first seat to watch what happened in between those two and 
unanimously, basically, apart some nutcase, the 39 bots or whatever, all the usual suspect on Twitter, which they're filled with toxicity, which they don't know what to do. They're worse than the elephant foot in Chernobyl, so to speak. And they're just there to uh, continue to vent that toxicity and to try also so desperately to change the story that through those audios we learned to be absolutely the case that Johnny Depp was the poor guy there, was the poor victim, not only him, also his entourage and his family and his immediate friends, including bodyguards and so on, which had to witness the martyrdom, so to speak, that that guy probably went through at the end of this person together with her entourage. So, again, without trying to uh, have to remember what I was trying to go here. So there is an unfair advantage for the woman that the media and thanks to those organization and the tendency of society of victimhood and the way things are portrayed, you know, they're, they're trying sort of to rebalance the needle in between once was too much patriarchy and now all the things bad about that patriarchy that led society are coming to the surface therefore those groups are created therefore those groups are also fertile terrain for weirdos which they abuse that system of supposedly doing good for their own sake because they're safe there until of course they get discovered like we did we discovered in the case of johnny depp's ex-wife this type of uh yeah th this type of nut cases right misusing the system to their advantage so there is still a an unfair advantage for those people that the media because is afraid of going against the narrative because he's afraid to sort of being called out or to move away from what it seems safe to be morally just right that advocacy and this and the that and the me too movement and whatever so they're afraid just to state the obvious based on facts that johnny depp was abused and they're still to this day i'm not kidding after one year we have articles about her ex his ex-wife which they are always written. Of course, they are propelled by our own PR, but still, those publications, and they are not always bad publications. We're talking about Vogue, Vogue India, or other magazines, which they accept to republish those articles about this woman in a light as if we were supposed to forget everything that happened we have to forget those hours of audio in our mind that privileged access that we had right that we found out in first person who the woman was and we still know but still the media is playing as if oh that doesn't exist really so now be ready to accept her lovely smile again as we try to rebuild her image so we can put her in another movie absolutely i said this before narcs are evil so you especially when they are psychologically impaired uh you want to make sure not to be part of those people but despite all of this johnny depp is moving on and man in few days he shares the same month as me for the birthday he will be 60 year old and despite all his excess despite his own personal demons despite whatever he went through he's a man with a great honesty he seems and he's still bringing that honesty in his work and it's succeeding the new movie Jean de Bury not only has been a success at Cannes in terms of box office but in, in terms of like literally I, re I read reviews of a man that is carrying the movie despite the fact that most of the movie actually it's not about him you know it's more about my one character than him still he brings the goods and we wish that such a great talented artist will be able to access you know his means as an actor and to bring more characters to life after he was basically stopped right he was stopped by false allegations and to this day johnny depp has not received an apology by walt disney warner brothers all those other people that dropped him boom two days after just allegations came out of organized uh, tro paparazzi tmz in front of the court right 
fake bruises and whatnot, apparently, and was just dropped. His career, boom, into the gutter. We will never get to see, perhaps, uh, even though Pirates of the Caribbean was getting milked a little bit too much, frankly. But, you know, if we have to be absolutely honest, but this is happening basically with every franchise. Right now, I'm scared to go watch Indiana Jones the Fifth because I already know that it's going to be imbued with unnecessary wokeness that has lost its own ideology basically or whatever they want to do in empowering women or whatever they're tr just trying to destroy everything they created and they're forcing these new characters which they want to use for the future on us using the brand which does not belong to them right so that's why an Indiana Jones with this Phoebe Bridges will never work. She hasn't earned it. We don't care. I don't even know where she came from, this person, despite the fact that probably is a good writer or a good actress. I don't care. I don't need that Indiana Jones woman in the future. Nobody gives a damn because she did not earn what Steven Spielberg, George Lucas and Harrison Ford, together with the rest, managed to achieve. As simple as that. It's not about man, it's not about woman, right? But so you see things like that happening also in Paris of the Caribbean. And despite that, despite that, right? This milking of franchise, because of allegation dropped him out of Walt Disney, we don't get to see again maybe the closure of Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp is just 60. Indiana Jones, by reason for it, literally is 80 year old and managed to do another Indiana Jones. At 60, we don't get to see another Jack Sparrow. That's tragic in a way, in terms of continuity of a franchise or art in general. Uh, but anyway, that's just my opinion. So, and you see that unfair advantage for a guy that happens to be, for of course, for a man that happens to be a victim and still the media, a part of the media is against him. He's trying to depict this guy as a villain. It shows really like a, a flawed, you know, a flaw in the system of nowadays system that the overcorrection, it's going way too far now. That the started things started out that we needed a little bit of correction, too much power in certain just few men abusing the power, certainly. Weinstein, we see what, is, what has happened. So there is naturally truth in those things in places. But now the, the needle has swung all the way too much on the other side where it seems like you need by default to accept just rumors of people if they come from a woman without with the absence of evidence so this is what i've learned in this year but also what i've learned is that luckily we as a community you as a community supporting as youtubers we have managed to be the counter voice when every time we have to call some BS out. And we will continue to do that, despite the fact that sometimes inadvertently we bring attention to these old pieces of human manure, which they also, you know, narcissists, they do try whether or not they like negative or positive attention, as long as they are in the media. But unfortunately, when you as a channel as a youtuber and you cover those things if you go silent and then you get vogue publishing this article right and they will publish it anyway and then you get this other magazine publishing another puff piece on ah whatever she's doing smiling buying book and not quitting hollywood or whatever and then there is that other magazine and slowly they try to you know force the change of image of you then you gotta say something so you're forced to say something, at least this community knows what's up. And you also remember that you don't see any media focusing on Bill Cosby in their way, right? So uh, right there, again, another double standard, which should be, uh, yeah, should be abandoned, right? AH had their chance. She missed it. She abused it. And she cannot expect people just forget about the damage, the, the, the great damage, because the actual malice of lying, right, carries also the fact of the lies of whatever, of the grape and all of those things, right?
the tremendous weight of those accusations, lies, and the damage that they cause. So let's not forget that. Anyway, guys, a little rant. Just wanted to spend some time with you. And uh, maybe next time we do a live, please consider subscribing. I want to thank you so much for the support. Really, you really make my day every single day. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.